Okay, let's talk about bridge rectifiers. So they are made of four diodes, and they all uh, are always in one particular orientation. They're always uh, pointed like this, and you use them in a certain way. Um, normally you put in AC on this side, and you, you get out DC on this side. We'll, we'll see that. A lot of times they're made out of four diodes individually. On the circuit board you'll see four diodes. Sometimes they're drawn funny. They're not drawn in a ring like this. They're just drawn a separate way, but they're, they're wired up the same way. They're just drawn on the schematic differently. But a lot of times the uh, uh, bridge rectifiers are uh, packaged in, in, in four at a time already, already put together for you. And they can be nice big ones like this one. Uh, I don't know how many amps this one's good for. Uh, probably a lot. Uh, here's a nice big one as well. This one says 25 amps at 600 volts. So here's a 25 amp one. And this one, this one looks even bigger. Uh, maybe they're maybe they're rated about the same. This one, this one looks like a real nice quality. Um, so they can look like that. You can see this one's marked also. Uh, AC here, negative here, AC here, and positive here. So uh, AC, AC positive. So, so it would go in just like this. There'd be AC coming in here and DC coming out here. And it has a little mark here to tell you that that's the, uh, the that's this positive output here. This one is marked. Uh, there's a plus and a minus, so that's the plus and the minus. So it would go in like that. Um, sometimes they're in a straight line, uh, but it's the same thing. There's AC comes on these two, and then this is the plus and this is the minus. So it would sort of go in. It would sort of go in like this. The plus and the minus would go here, and then these two would be the the AC connections. And then sometimes it could be, uh, although packaged for in a package, they're they're tiny. Uh, so here's one. I think this is good for one amp. Um, so, but today we're going to build it differently. Um, we're going to build it out of discrete diodes, but special diodes. So I had some of these, uh, actually I found them on the floor. <laughs> I was uh, sweeping up and, and uh, there was a, a several of these still on the floor. These are those uh, LEDs that were for tail lights in cars. Um, uh, I showed this uh, on a particular video, but these are just red LEDs in a strange in a strange package. But they're nice. They have these big big flat tabs, and uh, they're really meant to be uh, arc welded together in various shapes. Uh, but what I did was I took four of them and uh, uh, welded them together into the shape of a. That's right, a bridge rectifier. So here's my bridge rectifier. Okay, so that's that's right here, and I have AC coming in here and DC coming out here. And I put the uh, capacitor here, and here's the resistor, right? So there we go. Uh, this is this is that, okay? And um, I wanted to do this video uh, for a particular reason. Um, a lot of times, people only think about half of the circuit, and it's important to think about twice the circuit, or the whole circuit, I should say. Um, so let me say that, let, let me kind of describe what I'm talking about. So you can imagine that if you have AC out here, if something is plus, then it can make it through this diode and it can come out here to the plus. But if it's the plus is over here, then it makes it through this diode and uh, it, it, it comes out here, right? But people don't think about the return path. Well, things go out, but they have to come back, okay? So let me, let me show that to you here. Let's. Uh, I have a I have a, a a DC power. I have it at uh, eight volts, and I'm going to put uh, the negative side here, and I'm going to put the positive side up here. Okay. So I've just put plus here and I put minus here, and the plus comes and it goes through this uh, diode, and it's nice using LEDs because we can see that 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 diode is being used. The current is actually is actually flowing through that here. But what I wanted to really get stress, stress was that it comes out here, it goes to that resistor, but then it has to go back. It has to have a return path. And that return path is this LED, uh, uh, LED and, and diode. And so, my voltmeter just turned off. Um, so the return path comes this way and goes through this and then goes back, okay? So this way, and this way, okay? And we can see it right here. We see that this LED is lit and this LED is lit. Now, now let me put the uh, uh, negative at the top, okay? And I'm gonna put the positive at the bottom. And now we can see that these two 
diodes are being used, okay? So we have positive down here, so it's going to go through this diode, so that one's being used. But then the return path comes and has to go through that diode, All right? Oops, sorry, just lost my power connection. There we go. So we're using these two. Okay, so let's hook up AC. So that's generally how they're used. Although, let me, let me briefly describe this though. Um, let's say you have, uh, where's my power connector? Uh, remember, I built this thing to determine whether your input is being a, a plus, plus in the center or minus in the center, right? And you lit, that, lit up the two LEDs so you know which is which. But what if you wanted to build an instrument that didn't care which way you, which way you had it round? Well, you could just use this. If you plug the DC in here, it works just fine. If you plug the DC this way, it works just fine. So this allows you to kind of protect yourself from, from, from opposite polarities, right? Somebody hooks it up backwards, it still works. Um, put it in this way, it still works. Maybe you have a battery. If you put the battery in this way, it works. Put the battery in this way, it still works. It doesn't short out the battery. It doesn't destroy anything. Um, so these are great uh, to put in even, even DC supplies. But most of the time, these are used in AC. So let me bring in some AC. I have some AC here. I have uh, 8 volts AC. We had 8 volts DC before. And uh, we have 8 volts AC now. Where's my... I just lost my bridge. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, there it is. All right. Okay, so let's hook that up. And there we go. Uh, oops. You know, the cables are always tugging things around. And I always want to ruin your experiment. All right. There we go. So all four LEDs are on. And that's because sometimes we're taking one path and sometimes we're taking the other path, right? And it's doing it very, very fast so your eye can't see it. Um, your eye uh, can't see flickering uh, at 60 hertz. Um, in Europe, it's, it's 50 hertz. And some people, can say, some people can see 50 hertz flicker, some people cannot. Um, and depending on uh, the uh, situation and everything, sometimes you can see flicker all the way up to about 500 hertz, but I, I, I don't think anybody can see flicker above 500 hertz. And it has to do with uh, the movement of the eye. There's something called the eye cicading. When the eye cicades, you can see, anyway, there's a whole bunch of uh, optical science there about uh, whether you can see flicker or whether you can't see flicker. It's, it's very, very important if you're building uh, something like eyeglass displays, like the Oculus or uh, some type or projector display. It, 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 if, if you have flicker in the image, so it just drives some people absolutely batty. Um, they've gotten much, much better now. And, um, but, you know, flicker is flicker. So let me uh, reduce the, uh, let me reduce the, the frequency. And I'm going to come down. Now I can see that. Does the camera pick that up? Yeah, the camera's picking that up, I think. So it's starting to flicker. It's at 25 hertz now. And let me take it all, all the way down to 1 hertz. Okay, so we have 1 hertz AC. And you can see that uh, sometimes we're using these two diodes and sometimes we're using those two diodes, right? Um, so the whole point of the video uh, is don't forget about the other side. Don't forget that we have current flowing in this negative direction and uh, it's doing as much work in this, uh, in this bridge rectifier than, than the positive side. And so you have to, you have to make sure you, care, you, you, know, you take care of that. Um, sometimes it matters, sometimes it doesn't matter, but I think it's, 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 it's something that's often over forgot, you know, uh, it's, it's something that's often forgotten about. Um, so yeah, there you go.